Inuat was introduced to this government. It was embraced and encouraged. We have already heard that power from St. James is already in the grid. In time, the good people of Nevis will feel the positive effects of this valuable resource. I venture to say, without a shadow of a doubt, that, that if it had not for the election of the NRP-led administration in Nevis, these power initiatives and achievements would only have been a midsummer night's dream. <laughs> West Indies power came to Nevis before 2006, but they were not encouraged by the former administration. Instead, they were driven away, much to the disadvantage of our people. Today, reality is it in Nevis. Today, power is it in Nevis. That has not come from fossil fuels. Tomorrow, more power will be in the grid, and more power will come to the people of Nevis and the people of St. James. However, nothing this government led by J.W. Parry has done has come without a fight and without the doomsayers having a field day. Let me recall when this project was launched here, there were two radio programs touting the value of a goat and sheep farmer. This program was saying that a goat and sheep farmer from Brownhill was given lands over here and had expended quite a bit of monies to secure and to ensure that the island was full of mutton. Now, that farmer, he has gone to shores beyond. Yet still, there was a lot of hue and cry decrying the administration and saying that the wind farm project will displace the sheep farmer. I am sure the Honorable Minister told you, when you look at the picture, you see cows and the wind turbines peacefully coexisting. When one looks around, one can see that animal husbandry can peacefully coexist with the wind turbine. And so the land can effectively be of multiple use. Today, I believe the people of Nevis are pleased with the NRP-led administration for its vision and leadership in ensuring that our dependence on foreign oil is replaced by our reliance on our own homegrown source of energy. Nevisions will soon feel the vision of these initiatives in their pocket. The surcharge in time will become a thing of the past. I have seen studies which show that the impact of wind energy would have is to reduce the amount of the fuel surcharge. In closing, I make it bold to say that I am proud of the work done by this government here in Nevis and in St. James, especially in face of all the adversity. All these matters relating to the rebuilding and the development of the rural economy of St. James were designed, implemented, and executed by the cabinet of the Nevis Island Administration. These men and women are deserving of your full reward. The good people of St. James must decide soon. And to add a man who has always been there on the inside team so that more development and power can come to the people. The future of the NRP-led administration looks bright. Our development at St. James has been from coast to coast in serious economic times with the Four Seasons Resort closed and our resultant shrinking revenues. That development has come full, full speed ahead notwithstanding. And today we have the improved infrastructure, the housing, the agriculture, and the other things in the economy. Today we celebrate another landmark 
and a far-reaching achievement with Winwat. Tomorrow, we set sail on the geothermal to make Nevis fully compliant without fossil fuels, and at the same time, energy independent. In our tomorrows, we shall see new hotel developments, new ventures in marine development here again, close to the western shores of the parish of St. James. We are here opening this wind farm. And I would want publicly, on behalf of the good people of St. James, to thank J.W. Parry and his men for his leadership of this island in these difficult times, having been present as he steered, steered the ship of state in difficult and challenging waters, literally without fuel. That is not much money. Thanks, Mr. Parry, for your support for the development of St. James coast to coast. May God bless Winwat and all its pioneers as it endeavors upon this venture to provide alternative energy in this part of the world. As Nevis emerges as a model to study in the field of renewable energy production in these parts of the Caribbean. God bless Premier Parry and bless the Nevis Island Administration. May it please you.